Do you guys have a hard time getting close to other people? Are you like me? Do you feel like a loner sometimes? Unless that person has a plate of pasta and then you're my new best friend. Or do you guys ever get really overwhelmed or overpowered by other people's energy? Like all of a sudden you could totally morph into them. Like I can go from just being me, having my wonderful Canadian accent to all of a sudden having an English accent like good day mate to a would you like some biscuits in your coffee? Well, that's what it was like for me until I learned about my fourth energetic layer of my light body, which is basically one of the layers in your aura. I want you to think of it this way. You know those rings on a tree that go up from the center? Well, in this episode, we're gonna focus on this fourth level right here. I mean, energetic light body. We're gonna learn how this layer influences your whole world of relationships. And when you activate this light layer and you charge it up, you're gonna start to feel more comfortable with other people. Yes, finally! And you're gonna be able to stay in your own space. And more importantly, you're gonna create a wonderful relationship with yourself. So let's get started. I've always felt very protective and sensitive over my energetic field, even before I knew what the heck it was. I felt like I had one of those club bouncers, you know, standing right outside of my body, and he'd be like, I'm not gonna let anybody in. He'd have his clipboard there, and I'd just imagine him like judging people, like. This is the Roxbury. No one gets in unless you're on the list. We're on the list. Yeah. No, not this one. No, you could only let out just a little bit of love, you know, because he didn't want me to get hurt and he was doing a pretty good job keeping me safe. As much as all of this sounds logical in my mind, in reality, it was exhausting. Cause I believe that that connection to love or that connection to power, it was inside of me. But instead I realized I had created this belief system that it was outside of me because I was always checking how other people were behaving, you know, what they were doing, what they were saying, in order to gauge how much love I could let into my life. And that was so exhausting. And this way of living wasn't working for me anymore because I just wasn't happy. I just started to feel like I was caged in. So the problem was I had no idea how to change this. Not until I started working with my fourth energetic layer. This is where the magic started happening for me. So in my video, Symptoms of a Blocked Energy Field, we discuss the first three energetic light bodies, what they are and how they work. Now, if you haven't seen those, go check out the video. All this crazy stuff will make a little more sense to you. So a quick recap. We have seven layers in our energetic light field, which make up our aura. Now the first layer, it's connected to the physical realm. The second is connected to your emotional. And the third layer is connected to your mental. Now these three experiences, these three layers, they all take place in the third dimensional physical world. Our fourth layer, once we activate it, it creates a bridge between the physical and the spiritual world. So now you're gonna have access to the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh energetic layers of light, which all represent the spiritual world. Now, I know all of these layers can get confusing and that's why I'm doing a few layers at a time but it's all good stuff and it's totally worth it. We're gonna learn more about all those other layers in another episode. Now the fourth layer, it's connected to your heart center, your heart chakra. Some people say that when they start to activate this level, you may experience a little bit of tingling and a little bit of heat in your chest. This is due to all those energies starting to expand in and around you. And now you're gonna to start to have access to all those deeper levels of consciousness. Yay! We're opening up doorways. So this level, it's full of light, love, relationships, even relationships to yourself. But you know what? There's actually a lot of gifts that this fourth energetic level has. You're also connecting to the astral plane and otherworldly beings. It also acts as an energetic umbilical cord connecting you to your parents. But for the sake of this episode, we're just gonna focus on that bridge from the limited physical self to those higher dimensional spiritual planes. Why? Because we wanna create healthy, loving relationships with ourselves and other people first. So to help you understand how this level works, think of the heart chakra as a projector and the fourth energetic light field as a screen. 
So if you're clairvoyant, you can see that this energy field is formless. It looks like bright clouds flowing all around you and it extends about a foot away from the body. But when we have our walls up and we carry resentment and fear and anger, this energy field looks more like dark mucus around you. Have you ever met that person where you feel like they're wrapped in like a sugary glaze, like somebody sneezed all over them and you don't even want to get that close? You're like, ugh, I don't get that crap. I don't want any of that all over me and near me. Nothing. What happened? Are you okay? He slimed me. Well, that's what a dense, underactivated fourth energetic light body looks like. If you feel really exhausted and you feel really heavy in your own field to the point that it makes you feel uncomfortable to be in your own body, well, that's just trapped old energy and old programs. And the great thing is we just want to clean it up before it makes you physically sick. Now that's the cool thing about energy medicine. We can start to heal it and remove it before it reaches your physical body. It's the most important of the energetic light layers since the first three merge into it, and the fifth and sixth and seventh all fold into the fourth and into the heart. So the biggest gift the fourth energetic light body gave to me was discovering how much I was split. You know, I was split from my physical world. It refused to have a relationship with my spiritual world. You know, my bridge, it was closed. It was shut down. I could not love the spiritual side of myself and let the energy just flow down through the physical existence. I was either fully connected to the spiritual world or only influenced by the physical. And this really confused me. I felt like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You know, how could I believe in so much light and magic one second only to forget it the next? I was always being ruled by my third dimensional old programs. This is what happens when your fourth layer in your energetic light body is not activated or not charged. So when I work with my clients, I like to think of the fourth energetic layer as my bridge to the spiritual world. You know, it allows me to bypass my old programs and my old beliefs of what I think love is or how I think I'm supposed to protect my limitations that actually just keep me a prisoner within this body and within my energy field. This energy field allows me to open up to the energetic lines of high frequency, divine energy, and connects me to earth energy. So by treating this level as my bridge, I open up and I just let the energy flow from the divine all the way down into my seventh chakra at the crown of your head. And then I allow this energy to flow through me like a column of light it goes out your root chakra all the way to the center of the earth. Once I do that, I anchor it in, and then I imagine pulling up all of earth's energetic gifts all the way up into my heart center. Then I allow both frequencies to mix and become something new. I have divine energy and I have earth energy dancing and mixing, coming out my heart center. And when I achieve this, I just, I see the world differently. So as opposed to looking at it as words or formulas or old beliefs, I just let the energies flow and suddenly I'm filled with unconditional love and I'm simply just being me. And that's really the key to all of this. It's being able to plug in and sit in your own frequency. So now you're gonna start to realize that it's all within you. And when you start to live life from this space, you're gonna receive so much more freedom and so much more light that you're actually gonna be able to share with people. Why? Because you're plugged in and you have an unlimited supply. Now, I easily connect with my clients with no judgment, no blocks, no need to get anybody's approval. I can just help them and it's wonderful. So how do we connect and clear and activate our fourth level of our living life body? Understand, in most of the work we do, it's all about getting the energy flowing through your body and doing so with intention. You've heard it again. So meditating with intention of moving this energy through your heart center is vital. So exercise. Exercise is one of the easiest and most natural ways of increasing the flow of energy in your body. Go for a walk, try yoga, dancing, Aikido, Qigong. You know, I know we've all done this before, but it just shows you we want to get the energy flowing. Sometimes even the simplest tasks of showering, get in that shower and with the intention, say, I am cleaning and clearing my energy field. But what if you don't wanna get off the couch? What if you can't? What if you just feel so tired? Oh yes. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I have something for you. Try just breathing meditations. One way to start is just simply focus on your breath and start from the root chakra and visualize your breath fully coming up the center of your body and connecting to the top of your head. And then release it, comes around you. Again, starting from, we'll call it between your, we'll call it between your legs. No, we'll call it like your, the base of your spine. And all these muscles, you just want to squeeze them a little bit and get that energy moving so it travels all the way up through your body. And that's one simple breathing exercise to get the energy moving. And you don't even have to leave your couch. And if you'd like a guided meditation to help you, I'll be posting them on my website. As you activate the fourth energetic light level, positive changes are going to occur in your brain. And it's all just chemistry. You may even start to experience flashes of clairvoyance. How cool is that? You're opening up your third eye. Why? Because all these energy layers are connected. If you want some extra tips on how to get your energy flowing in your body, you can also try acupuncture or getting a massage. The whole thing is we want to get this energy field moving. I'm going to be posting some new meditations on my website to help you out. So go check them out. I hope this gives you a taste of what the fourth layer of your energetic light body is all about. I know that we're going to be talking about it more. And please share your stories with us. I love hearing it in the comments. But until next time, I'm Marisa Greco, your mystical guide.